Morning everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage. I'm here again with a how-to video. This time I'm going to show you a quick easy way to make corners for like if you're shipping uh, artwork, paintings, something like that. How to make your own corners rather than having to go buy them. I just save up a lot of old cardboard scraps um, that I can then use. And simple formula is you know whatever the width of your um the piece you want to make a corner for whatever your width is that's going to be your middle section so like in my case i'm making it three inches this is three inches and then that means my lower flaps are going to be three inches and then this length which is what would wrap around the outside of the corner. So this is a finished corner that I'm making. I have a three inch frame. So this is a pretty wide frame that I'm doing. But this is the, you know, so whatever depth you want covered. So if you, you wanted to do this, you just do a small one. But for a, like this is a fairly large painting that I'm shipping. So it's a three inch wide and I've got five inches long here so you can make it you know smaller if you want um, but this is what's adjustable so then uh, then you would just draw those at an angle so that's your basic shape that you're going for it's kind of a triangle on a platform so let's get started here the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my piece of cardboard and just trim it down these extra flaps i don't need and i use a exacto knife to do this you could use scissors they're a little more difficult to use um, so and then i say okay which this corner is kind of damaged so that side i want to have so it gets cut off so this will be my three inch base so measure up three inches three inches three inches and Three inches. And I always want to do three because then you know when you draw your line it's going to be even. If you just make two marks, one here and one here, you might have mismeasured one and not realized it and then you got a crooked line. So I always do three because that's what I was taught. All right, so now um, my width is five inches, so mark five inches. I want three inches. That's the depth of my frame. And then I'll mark five inches from that mark. So it's five inches, three inches, five inches. And this is this this bottom part is the same width as your center section. So now we mark five, three, and five. And then you want to go up the same distance as you want to go here, five. At least that's how I make them. That way they're square. You could go a different, longer or shorter if you wanted. Now I do a dotted line here because I don't want to cut on this line. I just want to fold. So that just tells me not to cut there. Then I do a straight line here because we'll cut here. And then I take from my top point to my corner point. And I also want to cut off this top part. Got him cut off. And I also realize I have a little extra on the end here that I need to cut off. All right. There. Now, then I cut the corners. And I save these all these little scraps too for other shipping and packing endeavors that we get into. All right. Now I want to, because my solid lines are the, that one. I'm going to cut this. One. Oops. Now we want to 
fold on this line and fold on these two lines. One of the reasons I use an X-Acto knife, I put my blade away, I put my ruler along my line. I do give a little distance because of the depth of the blade here, so it's not right on the line. And then I just press gently to make a little fold line. And I leave my ruler and I lift it up. And I do the same going this way. And because the grooves are going this way, this will fold. That one on the fold, not on my mark, but on a different one. And so there we go. Now it's all folded. So I fold in the middle piece, fold in the next piece, fold in the last piece. There's our corner. Tear off a piece of tape. Hold it tight. And there's our corner. All ready to go. So fairly quickly you can make corners out of scrap cardboard. Pretty exciting. See, in about five minutes, you too can have a corner. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you later. Bye.